Okay, so I'd like to make a correction of Abrami plot uh, in my previous uh, YouTube video, and so this should be a short one. So if you look, remember the, the equation, and this is a essential fraction of amorphous, and also it is same as one minus crystal fraction. And if I write this uh, one minus crystal fraction, it is, it is the same as now as an exponential, uh, two, if you look at that equation, minus z2 time to the power n. So I, I'm interested in uh, knowing the, the power uh, n constant, and then what you, what you need to do here, uh, which is, uh, this is the same thing as uh, pi a, Let's just keep the crystallinity something that is people can easily capture. So then, what you what you can do is if you look at this both side, and then um, I'm, I'm going to take let's say natural log. Okay, I was I was looking at the log, but you need a log of a log, and that's a little complication that's right there. So if you do that, then then you will have natural log. 1 minus pi c equal uh, minus z times t to the n, okay? And then uh, you want this because this is a fractional value, so, and then you are going to switch the signs, so make this sign, this portion as a positive numbers, and by switching the signs here. And then you need to do it one more time, and this time the, the conventional plot that most people do is taking the common log on those two. Okay? And then by doing so, you will gain series now common log of minus natural log of 1 minus pi c equal. Uh, so as you can see, the, that will be log some kinetic constant z n to log t, right? So it is a log t, but it is a crystal uh, fraction, uh, or amorphous fraction taking into a natural log, and then and then you need to do the common log again. So this is a this is a notation that was taken. I discussed it before. This is the same as one minus pi c. And what they shown up here in clearly, you will see that this portion is uh, one minus pi c. So therefore, what you see on here is common log minus natural log one minus pi c. Okay, so that's uh, why why you need this portion, and then this is a uh, log. E on those scale, the slope here is is a uh, is an a. Okay, so the meaning once again, a Brahmi plot that I draw. I want to make a correction one more time, and you are going to make a plot on log minus natural log one minus pi c, and the log t, and then there you you will see. Uh, at different time, and then you will just it will get a slope, and that n has a meaning about some crystal mechanism, and as you can see some you can have four, you can have three, you can have two, you can have one, either depending on the dimensionality of the growth, or the whether the types of nucleation that is occur, and and in the, if you remember. There's a lot of assumptions, and the Brahmi exponent for different polymer, they can have uh, some non-integer values uh, ranging, and that is a combination of not just the dimensionality and the nucleation type, but also the essentially different uh, the based on the assumption that uh, that is going to be uh, changing this the oversimplified picture by Abrami equation. But this is a way that I made a, a correction. I want to make sure that I correct this one. Thank you. So this is a Abrami plot. You will see that most of the plot that is related to this. It's also, you remember that uh, 
Uh, I talked about gym plot for the light scattering. When it comes down to the polymer crystallization, a uh, Brahmi plot, at least you heard about it, and then you can you can dig it in some more deep into the literatures and uh, to know more about what this meaning of this plot and then this uh, modeling means.